out on the spacesuit. It's part of a waterline vent tube assembly, which is actually what runs from the, the backpack of the suit, and it's what hooks up to the liquid cooling and ventilation garment that the crew members wear. So normally these tubes would be passing water uh, that's providing cooling around the crew member's body. So some smart engineers on the ground were able to uh, figure out, hey, this looks, it's a similar diameter to a snorkel that you have for scuba diving. So what if we're able to, each waterline vent tube assembly has two of these tubes. So by just sacrificing one of our, our spares on board, they were able to come up with a way to to just snip off the ends and then file it so that it's not rough in the crew member's mouth and then apply Velcro. We already have Velcro inside the suit, which is what holds the drink bag up to the front part of the suit. So they were able to come up with this ingenious idea to, to hold it in place. As far as the helmet absorption pad goes, we looked at ways of modifying, of potentially on board, modifying the maximum absorbency garment. So we were fortunate enough to be able to, to quickly turn these around and, and fabricate units that we were able to launch, as I mentioned, on, on the orbital demo mission as well as on the Soyuz mission. So thankfully, we already had these on board. But, but both of these, you know, the invention of these came out of the issues that we had on EVA-23. All right, Robert.